Level up. Shut up, Dev. Welcome back to Parasite Eve, guys. Unnecessary. <laughs> yes, but fun. Isn't that what the point of frivolity is, Dave? Unnecessary yet enjoyable. Shut up, you frivolousness. This, this. Yeah. So, Dave, um, what else was new? You said there were several things going on. One of them was the gym. Yeah, the gym, and I mentioned the documentary mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. and uh, oh yeah, and model parliament. Is that all you got going on, bro? You got a fucking boring ass life. You know what I, you know what I did? You, know you what sat I did, around Dave? the house. No, no, I didn't. You wanna know what I did, Dave? What, Dev? What did you do? I ventured into the African jungles of South America, <laughs> and I found the long lost temple of Dave Wamba, and in it I discovered your true heritage. Yeah, and what was that, Dev? I, 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 it's a secret. I gotta, I gotta whisper it. I gotta whisper. It's a secret, Dave. It's a secret. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta whisper it. What? It's, you're a faggot. That, that's not a fucking mystery to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I see you have no medical training or experience or shits to give about healing people, but you have some gigantic boobs. You're hired. <laughs> that's, how yeah, that's how it works, man. Yeah, that's how it works around here. Yeah. I mean, like, it's like Metapasta says. You know, promotes blood flow. Ah, fuck! Everyone's dead or evacuated. I think I'll choose the ladder. I'll just walk in place. Don't worry she's about it. She's gonna get split in half. I know it. Oh, absolutely. She's just gonna. No, she can turn one of those charred corpses, one of those BBQs. <laughs> Actually, um, uh, here's the thing. I might have gotten into this with Ian from BLG at some point. Uh, um, what do you prefer, Dave? Texas barbecue or Korean barbecue? I haven't had much Korean barbecue, to be honest. I'd choose Korean. Absolutely. <coughs> splitter in half. Okay, I want to ask a personal question here, Frozen Binary Studio, and feel free not to answer, because um, it is a personal question, and don't, like, think bad of me if you get offended, but I don't think oh, you will, because really, I'm, cause, you should honestly cause, cause feel I, really Because I don't even actually offended. give a shit. But here's the thing. Are you ever actually planning on losing your penis? I mean, like, surgery-wise, because I know that you're a trap. Because, man, I am no trap, and I would not be passable as one. No. <laughs> but, dude, if, if I could be a dick girl, I'd totally be a dick girl. I wouldn't lose that shit for the world. Good for you, Dev. I'm already offended. <laughs> no, man, if, if I was in the position of, of being like, like a, a, a transgender person, I would 100% keep a dick. It's because no one would believe you. No, I, I just, like, spend my life, like, just kind of... Being like a hundred percent passable trap, and then like becoming like really close platonic friends with girls, and then just banging them in the night, and converting them. I never told you you were a, kind of a bad person. Yeah, all the time. It's cool though. Yeah, it's usually me. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> God. So what do we do now? We got the green. We got the green card. Oh, you can we, go got, we got our green card. <laughs> nice. We can we can leave the states forever. Hey, Doc. Oh, oh my god, Dave! Can you tell me why the hospital is no liquid nitrogen? Well, for many different reasons. They use freeze off warts and such, but it's main use for research. It keeps the sperm bank from spoiling. Sperm bank? Oh my god, I would turn it off! There's a valve that you can turn off in the storage area. Sorry, I don't have time to explain. <coughs> Fuck the sperm bank, dude. By the way, which floor is the research lab located on? I just want to get my testes okay. removed and something else sorted out, but I like my dick otherwise. I just hate getting random boners. The testosterone combined with HRT fucks your liver up. No, that's fair. So you just want like a six inch long clit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how human biology works. <laughs> More or less. Dude, this place got fucked up. Yep. And now, and now, uh, what's her name, Aya? Now Aya has to remove all the sperm in the sperm bank by drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of like, the ghosts, uh, fucking, from, from True Capitalist, oh, it's oh! a big one. From True Capitalist Radio, <coughs> the, the, like, uh, the, they'll splice up ghosts, like drinking his, his beer, and I'll be like, let me just take a sip of this uh, sperm, 
That's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I don't have dysphoria like that. Only at the height of my area do I feel weird about having a dick. I mean, that's fair. Like, some people just are straight up like, you know, I was 100% born in the wrong body. I want a vag when I have a dick, or I want a dick when I have a vag. Some people are like, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely a girl, but I could just live with a girl, though. Yeah, D Dave's too normie to understand this shit, man. He's, he's so, like, beyond the realm I'm not, of, I'm of not, fetishes. I'm not judging. Oh, there's a chest. Mm. Some ammos, dude. Okay, I don't understand. This. I gotta say, though, I have body dysphoria. I feel like I should be thinner than <coughs> I actually fucking am. I have about 50 pounds of body dysphoria, goddammit. It's because you ate that weight. I know. I just ate too much. <laughs> I'm just a fatty. I'm. I'm just. I'm. Just, I'm just a fatty in the end. There's no real. I just drop the junk, man. I know you can bring it back to the to the to the to the place and get it refined, but who, who cares? I do. That's how I do my. That's how I do all my upgrades and shit. What did I come back to? Uh, you got back to, to to trap stuff. I feel for those who have that sort of feeling about themselves. It's not a good thing to get hurtful in, in one skin. No, I I agree. And that's not something that's exclusive to, to transgender people either. Like people who no, people who are who do feel too <coughs> fat or too scrawny or too muscular or whatever, they get that same feeling too. They're like I, you know, like who I feel like I should be does not jive with what my body currently is. Amputees get that shit all the time. People with like cancer and like just weird tumors and shit, they get it too. It's not a tumor. It is a tumor. Oh. Here, here's a here's a top three traps, Dave Dev. Well, Dave doesn't like traps. I, I don't really know traps very well. Some TG's bitch about cis fucking hate that word. Don't understand body issues like that. Exactly, like, body dysphoria is not an exclusively transgender thing. And I think you have to go towards the camera, dude. You've already been in there. But I tried going towards the camera before, too. I probably just fucked it up. We're, we're, we're gonna, Why you do don't you up? check the guide? Yeah. Oh, in anime, I have no fucking clue, man. I haven't watched that many trap anime. Well, sort of. Bible Black, the blue girl. Okay, Bible Black, they're not... They're trap. They're, no, no, they're girls who, who have magic penises. There's no magic about this, it's just being a trap. Uh, they're biological girls who just, like, grow penises because of magic spells. Okay. Once you're past the green key doors, you'll be in a badly damaged hall. The second second door partway down on the left. Go through it. See those pipes in the bottom right corner? Turn the wheels to shut down the supply of liquid nitrogen to the sperm bank. Okay. Turn to the elevator and go up to floor floor 13. <coughs> wheels? Yep, yeah, there's three wheels over there. Turn all three. Because it wouldn't... I don't even have access to all three of them. Okay. Did you, did you turn the one you can turn? Yes. Then you go then go up to, then go to the elevator and go to floor 13. Floor 13 is extremely linear, apparently, so you'll be fine. Yeah, I, I've only I could only turn off the one, and we're, and we're nearing the end of the day anyway, so we'll be, we'll be on day five soon. Cool. So we'll be getting there. What's not magic about my penis? <laughs> Traps aren't magical. Hey guys, 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 you know you know how the song goes. I kissed a girl and I liked it. Did you? Did you actually have? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I see it all the time. <laughs> it's like a wand. I wave it and bathe become my bitch. <laughs> oh my fucking god. What do you guys think about Zoe <coughs> Quinn coming out coming out as a gender. As like not um not female. She wouldn't even say what the fuck she is, she's just like I'm just not a girl. I was like, fuck off, Miss Boob Job. You get a boob job, you're you're a fucking girl. Oh, oh look fuck. who it is. It's Zoe Quinn! <laughs> I had to stop eating before people die. It's the remnants of Zoe Quinn's actual <laughs> decency. I've never had any. Sing it, Dev. Minor Hideyoshi from Back and Test. Tosuka from My Teen Romantic Comedy. Ruka from Stein's Gate. I think I've heard of that one. Non-binary is not a thing. Um, I somewhat disagree. I feel like... I feel like it's legitimate to feel like that you're neither male or female. I feel like it's legitimate to feel like you're glug, you're glug, 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 you're glug. some kind of mix of both. I feel like it, it's <coughs> legitimate to feel like like you're either in the middle or you're nothing, or you're more one than the other. 
I don't feel like it's legitimate to just fucking make up your own fucking genders. And I don't feel it's legitimate to make a big fucking deal about it. I mean, Dave, let's be honest here. Do you feel like you're 100% masculine 100% of the time? No. No, and neither do I. And no girl feels 100% feminine 100% of the time either. No. So, let's, let, let's not pretend like you're just strictly male or female because you're not. However, does that make you a special fucking snowflake that deserves a protected status in society? No. 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 That's my rant. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you feel certain ways. Androgynous. Stuff. Exactly. Androgynous. There you go. That works. Yeah. Did David Boy join for special well, protection? No, here's the thing. No, but he was just talented. No, no. Androgynous can, can mean both, and it can also mean none. And there is a difference between both and none. There's a difference between feeling fully both or only feeling partially one or the other, and then there's a difference between feeling neither. And those are all legitimate. However, it doesn't make you this kind of fucking oh my God, magical this fucking unicorn. Bolster. Zoe Quinn literally. <laughs> I gotta say, man, I would still I'd still bang Zoe Quinn in the poop shoot, no problem. I just hate fucker. Exactly, that's my that's my point. I put her like on the sta on the same like level as Nicki Minaj in that regard. Yeah. Definitely hate her. What's going on? Burr. Oh! You use like some of your sight powers? Yeah. Look at these bouncing balls. Don't get hit, man. Just play dodgeball. Weren't you good at that back in back in the day? Not too bad. But unfortunately, I'm not trying to fire at some fucking. Do you remember me being the dodgeball master? Dev, yes. I get. <laughs> Would you stop bringing that up like every two months? It's my only. Okay, first of all, it's been like a year. That's my talk about was Pokemon Soul Silver. Two, it's my only claim to fucking fame <laughs> <laughs> that I was a dodgeball master back when I was in fucking grade school. Did you bang Randy Harper? Fucking no. Why not, Dad? Shit taste. In, just because you have shit taste in clothing and haircuts doesn't mean you are in transition. It means you need a fucking stylist. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. No, what I mean is like there's a certain list of things that even I would consider to be essentially masculine, and there are some time there are some times when I don't abide by that list, and I don't feel like I want to abide by that list. Does that mean that I'm a tranny? No. It just means that I'm I'm. There are times I just don't feel like a man. I just feel like a person, and it's like well, that, there's nothing wrong with that. You know? You're just a person, man. Hmm. 47. I don't gotta be a fucking hyper masculine alpha male all the goddamn time. Only most of it. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the SG. You have like a bunch of guns you're not even using, man. Well, I, I can't. But really. I can't. Just equip I can't. them. <coughs> huh? Just equip them. Yeah. Put on the. Like, that's that's better right there. It's everything's slow. better. About it's it. a lot slower. That's why I've been using the pistol. I save those for, for bosses. On the same page, that's good. Yeah. No, the G19 is, is pretty solid. Mm. Uh, frozen Binary, I was watching Ralph Retort stream last night, and uh, your boyfriend was in there, Beyond Sadness? And we, we chatted for a bit, and Ralph was like, hey, SFO, I haven't seen you in like two years, and I'm like, yeah, man, how's it going, huh? <laughs> I don't get all the massive amounts of drama happening between former Gamergate people. Like, when Gamergate first started, everyone was on the same page, everyone loved each other, and now everyone just fucking hates each other, and I'm like, why, guys? Because... A few people are masculine slash feminine hundreds of the time, also, why would you give a shit? Exactly, that's what I mean. Yeah, who cares? Where the fuck is the Empire State Building on fire? Um, probably because Eve. Mm. About the choice of banging Randy Harper and sucking off Richard Simmons every night, I'd be Rick. I'd be like, Rick, just love my face. What's wrong with Richard Simmons? There's a door. Oh, is that another elevator? Let me look this up. Kind of. Okay, hold on. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure it's where I came from. It is where you came from, I think. That's, you're just going to go back down. Don't go, don't go in there, yeah. Okay. I can't go in this one either. Leave the elevator past the screen after that. Next door is locked. On the far left, there's a machine with an arrow pointing to it. Read the arrow. Go, go back into the door, into that room there. <coughs> the arrow is actually a sign. It's a giant arrow. There's the arrow. Huh? Hmm? All right, fuck. You skip through it? Yeah. You, I... you goof. Press it again. You can't. Okay. Activate the machine. It'll do something. 
button. Oh, push the machine. Oh, giant then, red button. <laughs> and then push the giant fucking comically huge foot long across <coughs> the button. Yeah. Ralph is still around. I thought he was getting fucked in prison. Um, Ralph is going to prison for about six months in a couple months. So he will be in prison. He's not He's not in prison yet, though. I suspend sins. I like my men, men, and my women, men. So so wait, you, you, just, you just like Zarya from Overwatch? What's wrong with being a woman, man? It's not a special suspend sentence. It's just that, like... It's one of those things where, like he paid his bail and he's free to go until he actually has to he, until he actually goes to like check into the prison. Oh. It's like a, it's like a minimum security thing. It wasn't like a serious offense. Well, it was. He punched a cop in the face, but still, he was like drunk and he got suspended and all this shit. Jesus, when you say I've got a problem. <laughs> well, speaking of Arby's, because Dave has that Arby's cup over there. There, there was a um, there was a, uh, a a lingering meme about how. How Ralph, I think I said this on the other show before, how Ralph <coughs> didn't rape and murder a little girl behind an Arby's in 1996. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my Here's God. That, is that guy? Yeah, it's that guy. I, I like Ralph. I think he, he runs a pretty good site, but that was so fucking hilarious, dude. Holy shit, that was funny. It's like everyone just saying, <laughs> Ralph didn't do it. Why does everyone, why, he didn't do it. And like, it just became a thing because everyone said he didn't do it so much. It's kind of like how recently um, the creator of Battleborn tried to like bring back his own fucking game from from the brinks of the darkness by saying, "Hey, uh, I just found this this subreddit full of um, Battleborn porn." Meanwhile, it was created 15 minutes before he tweeted about it and filled with porn 15 minutes before he tweeted about it. So it's like obviously this is fucking <laughs> you who did this, you yeah. retard. You are so desperate for people to play your fucking game that you would. Here's the thing, man. I have more followers on Twitter than there are current players in Battleborn right now on Steam. That's sad. Well, Battleborn was, was basically like a game <coughs> like Overwatch, only much worse. And it came out around the same time as Overwatch. It just got fucking annihilated out, out the asshole. Like, it's going to be the death knell for, for Gearbox. Gearbox had one big hit in Borderlands 2, and that was it. And they're like trying to make other games, and Wait, they didn't sucked. They, didn't they work on like? Oh no, I'm thinking of Gears of War. Never mind. <laughs> that's that's like my work. No, no, they did like Duke Nukem Forever, and it fucking sucked. Yeah. And they did like Battleborn, and it got absolutely butt raped, and then it's over. Yeah. Didn't come into your private trolling chat last night. It's Left behind that Arby's. Battleborn is a great game. It sold tens of copies. <laughs> nah. Like there are certain games that just kind of disrupt this disrupt the the industries that they're uh, that they're released into, and Overwatch was one of those. Team-based shooters stopped being a fucking genre for like the past say ten months because Overwatch came out. Over meme. Pretty much, like you know you you, you no longer had Halo or Call of Duty kind of kind of doing things in in the shooter era. You didn't have Paladins fucking died, Battleborn died. Any kind of team-based shooter game died because Overwatch showed up and just annihilated everything. The only thing that's still alive is, is Battlefield One, and like, well, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's not team-based shooter. It's, it's just it's like a regular shooter. <coughs> yeah. Exactly. And here, here's the big problem with that, like, because oh, uh, World Warcraft did the same thing. MMOs stopped being a genre, genre, because World Warcraft showed up and just destroyed yeah. the entire. By EverQuest, Battlefield Online, by uh, oh, fuck, what else was the other one? There are, there are a few games that can claim that they actually destroy the genre <coughs> they're part of based on being that successful, but Blizzard games do it. Nintendo games don't do that, you know? Nobody stops making platformers because Mario is just that fucking good. But people stop making MMOs and stop making team-based shooters because Blizzard games are that good. So say what you want about Blizzard, they, they do that right. TF2 is still alive? No, TF2 is fucking done now, man. Everyone that I know who used to play TF2 plays Overwatch now. All the TF, all the old TF2 servers and communities that like I used to know about, they're just fucking gone. Over fags. Battleborn was basically um, Borderlands what meets TF2, this? and it fucking fell apart because it was released the same week as Overwatch. Yeah, save the game before something crazy happens. Also, we're at we're at uh, 20 we're at minutes, 21 minutes. So no, we're at, we're at 19, 19 and three quarters. We're almost at 20, Dave. You got you got 10 seconds here. We're at 20, okay? Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs>